What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to start a new lesson about Autodesk Navis Works Manage 2025. Okay? So before we do some exercises, so we are going to learn first the user interface of Navis Works. Okay? So let us explore the parts of the user interface. Okay, so when you open your Autodesk Navis Works Manage 2025, so this is what you are going to see. So right now, I'm seeing the Navis Works Manage splash screen home. Okay, so this is your home screen. So if you don't have the home screen, that's fine. You just need to click this icon here. Okay, so that's the home button. So maybe this is what you are seeing right now on your screen. But if you want to see the home screen, you just need to click that icon there. So that is your home button. And then it will show you here your home screen. Okay, here you'll be able to see some of the recently opened um, projects. Like in my case, I have an architecture.nwc uh, project here as my recent uh, recently opened uh, project. So... For us to be able to explore our user interface, we're going to open a project, okay? So to open a project, so we are just going to use a sample project, okay? So let's open, let's click this arrow here, click that one, and then let's look for explore sample projects. So let's click that, and then let's go inside getting started folder, double click that. And then let's look for architecture. That's a Navisworks cache. So we're going to discuss also the Navisworks uh, file types later on in our video. But for now, let's select the architecture and then let's open that one. So this is now our project. Now, if you want to zoom in or zoom out your project, all you have to do is to scroll the middle button of your mouse. So zoom in, zoom out. Okay, zoom in, zoom out. Okay, and you can also hold the shift and then hold the middle button of your mouse to orbit your model while moving the mouse. So hold the shift, hold the middle button of your mouse, and then you can now move your mouse to orbit your model. And then you can also hold the middle button of your mouse to pan your model. Very simple. Okay, so now let's explore the user interface of uh, Navisworks Manage. Okay, so the first one is this button here. Okay, so this is the application button. Okay, so if you click that one, it will show you here some of the menus like creating new project, open, saving, save as, export, publish, print, send by email. And then you will also be able to see here some of the recently opened projects. Okay, aside from that, you can also use your application button if you want to exit Navisworks, if you want to close the Navisworks. Or if you want to go to options, you can click that one and then you'll be able to open up the options editor and do some modification on the settings of your Navisworks. We're going to discuss this as well. For now, I'm going to cancel it. So I'm just showing you the use of your application button. So this is what you call application button so that's the first one okay the other one is you know this already this is your home button so if you click that you'll be able to go again to your home button now if you want to go back to the project that we just opened you just need to select back to go back to that project okay right now the second part of the Autodesk uh, Navisworks user interface is this area here. So this is what you call the quick access toolbar. So what is the quick access toolbar? So you can see that here at the top of the Navisworks window. So the quick access toolbar displays frequently used commands. So that's why you have here open. So you have here save, print, undo, redo. Uh, creating new project so you can place your quick access toolbar also here below if you click that drop down arrow you can select here show below the ribbon so you can click that and it will now show here 
So personally, this is my preferred placement of my quick access toolbar. Okay, I want to see only here the title bar wherein it shows the name of the software and then the version and then the name of the project open. So this is my quick access toolbar. So I can add tools here on my quick access toolbar. Let's say I want to add append. So I can just simply right click that and then I can select add to quick access toolbar. So it will now be added here. So this is very useful adding tools on your quick access toolbar. If ever, let's say you are on uh, animation tab and then after that you thought of appending a project into your Navisworks. So all you have to do is to go to quick access toolbar and click the append button. So no need for you to go back to home and click append. So because it's already here on the quick access toolbar, something like that. So that's just an example. Okay. If you re if you want to remove tool from your quick access toolbar, you can just right click that and then you can select remove from quick access toolbar. Okay. If you click this drop down arrow again, you'll be able to see the tools here that is currently showing on my quick access toolbar. If you want to hide the, the print, so you just need to click the print which is currently checked. So if you click the print, this icon here will disappear. So I select the print, so it disappears. Okay, so if you want to add, just click again and then select print. That's it, very simple. So that's your quick access toolbar. Okay, now another option or another part of the user interface is what you call the uh, info center. Info center is this area here wherein you'll be able to type a keyword or phrase if you want to search. Okay, search. And then you can also see here the name of your Autodesk account. You can click the drop down arrow. You can sign out account details and other options here that pertains to your Autodesk account. You can also select here Autodesk App Store if you want to do if you want to go to the application store of Autodesk. And then you can also select this one to access the help. So this is our info center. So you can click this arrow here if you want to hide the search bar. So you can click that. There you go. So that's our info center. Again, let's review. So this is our application button. And then that's our home button. And then this is our quick access toolbar. Our home button is actually part of the quick access toolbar. Okay, and then this is our title bar. It shows the Autodesk Navis Works Manage and then the version and then the name of the project. Okay, here at the top right, this is our info center. Okay, so now another part of the user interface is the ribbon. So this area here is what you call the ribbon. Okay, so you have the ribbon tabs. Okay, every ribbon tabs has its corresponding ribbon panels. So you have the project ribbon panel, select and search ribbon panel, visibility ribbon panel for home tab or home ribbon button. Uh, home ribbon tab so if you go to animation again animation has its own ribbon panels here okay so basically this area here is what we call ribbon okay so that's ribbon all right so another user interface is of course this area here so this is our scene view so that's our scene view and you see these tools here so these tools this area here is what you call the navigation tools. So aside from pressing the middle button of your mouse to pan, zoom in, zoom out, and holding the middle button and holding the ship and moving the mouse to orbit your view, you can also use your navigation tools like for example this icon here. So that's pan. If you click that, so you can now pan your model. So you can zoom window so you can click that and then you can window to area hold your left click and then release your left click so it will zoom into that particular area and then you can also select this tool here to orbit click that tool and then you can orbit your model and then you can also use navigation 
wheel here. So if you click that, so this is your navigation wheel. You can use orbit. You can use zoom in, zoom out. You can use pan. You can even rewind your views. All right. So let me just close my full navigation wheel. So this is what you call the navigation tools. Okay. So another part of the user interface of Navisworks is dockable windows. So let's say, for example, I'll go to render. So I'm going to select Autodesk rendering. So I click this button and then you can see my Autodesk rendering window. So this is an example of dockable window. Why? Because if I'm going to hold my left click on that blue area and then drag it, as you can see, I can put my window in different places. Like for example, I can dock that to the left side like that. I can drag again that. Let's say I want to put that on the right side. Just hover that to that icon there. Release your left click. It will be placed there. All right. I can put that at the top. I can also put that at the bottom here. Okay. So that's why it's called dockable window. So this is one another part of the user interface so this is just an example of a dockable window autodesk rendering uh, window of course of course there are other example of dockable windows you will be able to encounter that okay so what else so we also have status bar you see this area here so that is what you call the status bar okay so the status bar appears at the bottom of the Navisworks screen. So this cannot be customized or moved around. Okay, so as you can see here at the right hand corner of the status bar, so it includes four performance indicator that give you constant feedback as to how well Navisworks is performing on your machine. Okay, so what are these? Um, icons here so we have here a sheet browser okay so you can click that so it will open up your sheet browser here again this is an example of a dockable window so i can hold the left click if i want i can dock that at the top okay so that's my uh, sheet browser so another icon that i have here is the pencil progress bar okay so this one so it indicates how much of the current view is drawn. So that is how much dropout there is in the current uh, viewpoint. So when the progress bar is at 100%, the scene is completely drawn with no dropout. Okay, so that is our pencil progress bar. And then we also have here the disk progress bar. Okay, so it indicates how much of the current model is loaded from disk. That is how much is loaded into the memory. So when the progress bar is at 100%, the entire model, including the geometry and property information, is loaded into the memory. Okay, so what else? So we also have here the web server progress bar, this one. So it indicates how much of the current model is downloaded. Okay, so that is how much has been downloaded from the web server okay and then the last one here is memory bar so the uh, the field to the right of the icons up reports the amount of memory currently being used by autodesk navis works so this is reported in megabytes all right so again this is our info uh, i mean the status bar okay so don't forget that one okay so basically these are the eight uh, user interface of Navisworks. Okay, so let us review it. Okay, so the first one is our, what's this? Application button and menu. So if you click that, so that's the application button and then it will show you the applications menu. All right, so application button and menu. Okay, and then this area here, so this is what we call the quick access toolbar. Okay, quick access toolbar. And then we also have here the info center. Okay, so just below the info center, you can see here tabs. 
and different panels. So this is the area that is called ribbon. Okay, so this is our ribbon. And then of course, this area here is our scene view. Alright, so scene view and just on the right side, you can see here the navigation tools. Navigation tools. And then these windows that I have here, so this is an example of a dockable windows. And then the last part is our status bar. So this is our status bar. Alright, so that's it for this uh, simple introductory um, lesson for Navisworks Manage 2025 about the user interface. Okay, so we are going to explore more Navisworks Manage 2025. So watch out for the videos that I will be creating for this particular topic. So hopefully you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching guys. Have a nice day.